So how does one cross multiply proportions? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and once you see the process of cross multiplication and proportions, you'll actually find that it's a very straightforward exercise and one that can be picked up very quickly. So here's an example as to where cross multiplication becomes very important. Now, suppose you have a fraction, let's just say 3 quarter, equal to, and suppose you have another proportion, but this time you don't know what one of the sides is. Let's just say you have x over 9. Now, you can cross multiply any time you have one fraction making up the left side equal to another fraction making up the right side. Now, to cross multiply, you literally cross over. You take the denominator of one side and you multiply with the numerator on the other side. So in this case, you have 4 times x, which is 4x. And then you repeat on the other side. You take the 9, which is in the denominator, and you cross multiply with the numerator on the other side. So you have 9 times 3, which is going to give you 27. And then you have a little equation, no more fractions to work with, and here you have to divide both sides by 4, so you get x equal to 27 over 4. Now, what if x is on the denominator? Same exact strategy. Suppose you have 1 half equals to 3 over x. Same exact approach. Take the denominator, multiply it by the numerator on the other side, 2 times 3 is 6, and then take this denominator, multiply it by the numerator on the other side, x times 1 is equal to x, and therefore you have x equals to 6, which means you don't have to do anything more. But cross multiplication just involves multiplying the denominators of one side with the numerators on the other side, and that's about as good as it gets. So I'm Jimmy, and that is how you cross multiply proportions.